Things have been going along smoothly for Santa, his reindeer, and elves for many years. Each Christmas Eve, they loaded up the sleigh and pranced across the wintry sky. Until the year Santa had his accident. They were swooping across the countryside, hopscotching from one rooftop to another, when suddenly, Santa stomped on the air brakes. Digging out of the snow was not much trouble. It was what they saw when they were out. The biggest, tallest, most monstrous building you could imagine, especially if you're a reindeer. It had popped up like a mushroom in the few short months since their last visit. Steel and glass reaching to the clouds. At the bottom was a huge set of doors marked in and out. And at the top, not one chimney in sight, just television antennas. It was all windows, and in each one, Santa could see Christmas trees and children. So this was where the people lived in the cities now. Well, it was up to him to deliver their presents, chimneys or no chimneys. Santa and the reindeer walked into the lobby, pressed the button for the elevator, and waited. And waited. You have no idea how impatient a reindeer can get in apartment house lobbies. The bell rang, and in they sprang. Dasher and Dancer, you push to the rear. Blitzen, get up on the top. Prancer will fit in the corner, and Donner, of course, will not. Cupid, watch where you're stepping. Nixon, there's room for one more. Comet will get this thing moving if only he'll fit through the door. It just wasn't going to work. Eight reindeer, a sleigh, and a jolly old elf in one elevator? Impossible. Jelly Belly or no Jelly Belly? This was too much for Santa. He stomped through the lobby and out the door. Christmas Eve or not, he headed home. Buildings with no chimneys. No chimneys. This was just too much. There's no place to park the reindeer. There's no place to park the sleigh. There's no way to visit the children. No way, I say, no way. I could knock on all the doors. I could ring on every bell. I could call them on the phone or just stand there and yell. Come and get your presents. Come and get your gifts. Forget about your stockings. Forget about your lists. I can't get in, so you come out. Who knows what will happen then to a high-rise city Christmas if Santa can't get in? Out in the snow, the elves were playing a game called Spencer. They were throwing snowballs up into the air to see who could stick the most on the antlers of a flying reindeer. The reindeer was Spencer. They named the game after him. You see, there really wasn't much for Spencer to do anyway. He didn't have a job. <laughs> He just came with the sleigh. Spencer was the spare reindeer. It's some government regulation. He tried to keep busy. He worked for a while as a rake in the park, but got too dizzy flying upside down all day. He was a paper spear in an office. That gave him a headache. He even tried being a hat rack in a restaurant. But as you may not know, hat racks have trouble breathing. Now, he just played with the elves. Santa watched him ducking and darting among the snowballs, and in the corner of his eye, an old twinkle started to twink. We do what we do. When it's done, then it's done. What I can't do with eight, then I'll do with just one. They all ran back to the sleigh, and in a stitch and a hitch, they were off. Eight reindeer in the front, Santa in the middle, and Spencer bringing up the rear. The lights of the skyscrapers loomed ahead. Santa put the sleigh into a holding pattern, tossed the right gifts into a smaller sack, and he and Spencer swooped down. They dive-bombed buildings, zoomed over power lines and under antennas, and landed, neat as you please, on a windowsill. If you think Santa is gangbusters on chimneys, you should have seen him zipping in and out of windows. He and Spencer went from one building to another, city to city, until all the gifts were delivered. 
The first glimmers of dawn were on the horizon when they headed home. It's a never-ending source of amazement how Santa is able to do it every year. But he does. The world may be running short of chimneys, but Santa has his special ace in the hole. Uh, well, reindeer in the back. That's the story of Spencer the Spare Reindeer.